Dr. Beatrice Batson has devoted her life to furthering Christian liberal arts education and has enriched the lives of countless students through her passion for literature, her imaginative mind, and her love of learning. From a young age, Beatrice was a voracious reader who loved the feel of books and everything about them. At the age of 12, she announced to her father that one day she would become a university professor. Beatrice attended Bryan College, where she took her first steps towards understanding Christian higher education and her own vocational goals. After graduation, she enrolled in a master's program here at the college. I read extensively everything I could get my hands on, and there wasn't that much really then. I also read the classics, and I read the history of literature from beginning to end. I began to think, as I've never thought before, on what liberal arts really did mean after all. Was it liberal? Was it arts? Was it, what are liberal arts? And I wrestled with that question. But I even wrote my master's thesis at Wheaton on the conflict between Christianity and culture, and as, as the students say, the term I always used, I tugged with that, uh, with that question. After graduating from Wheaton in 1947, Beatrice taught literature for several years at Bryan College and earned the Ph.D. from Vanderbilt University. In 1957, she returned to Wheaton to teach literature and found a close colleague and mentor in Dr. Clyde Kilby. He showed me more the place of the imagination in our teaching and in our scholarship than anyone I'd ever met. He showed me more about finding beauty everywhere. Even in little things, he said, you walk across this campus and just look at the beautiful things you'll see. There'll be little things, but there's beauty. Beatrice taught for the next 33 years in the English department. Her classes were often filled to capacity, and in 1963, she was honored as Senior Teacher of the Year. When B walked into a room, it seemed that everyone's attention, to me at least, was directed on her. We, we waited with anticipation. And when she was teaching, I felt very strongly that she was absolutely in the moment. She had this wonderful ability to be a kind of prism through which the language of Shakespeare or some other great text could flow and we could receive it. She was always encouraging. She was never threatened by her students' questions or concerns. She was always embracing, and she just seemed to get such great joy out of her work and to absolutely believe that that joy could be mine. And because of her belief, I believed. Beatrice also served on the Faculty Senate, chaired the Humanities Division for a number of years, and served on virtually every campus committee. In 1975, she became chair of the English department, where she provided strong leadership and excelled at organizing and defining the mission of the department in both practical and visionary ways. Well, it was a delight uh, to be a member of the faculty in the English department when Beatrice Batson was the head of the department. She not only governed in an even-handed and clear-sighted manner, but she was an exemplary teacher herself. She understood well the relationship between humane values and faith. Beatrice had a large view of the imagination, the ability of the imagination, and the necessity for a scholar to be imaginative in whatever pursuits. It's one of her great strengths. As she understood the nature of the imagination and how essential it, it is for scholarship, how essential it is for simply uh, uh, happy living. It was very difficult to ever say no to Beatrice. <laughs> she, she made it impossible. We always end up saying yes to whatever she wanted us to do and, and then really learning from those experiences that she and those situations she put us in. She was always looking out for Wheaton, for English, 
for the reputation of the English department in the school. She wanted to present our students with the very best. She wanted their, her teachers to be the very best trained that they could possibly be. And in the end, I think it was finally students that she was really interested in reaching. Um, even though she was interested in our lives as scholars, of course, it was in the end so that we could do wonderful things in the classroom with our students. I notice in this very fine book of yours, which I've just finished reading... Beatrice applied her high standards to the college's writing and literature conferences, seeking out renowned writers and critics to speak on campus. I didn't feel that we had to have people who agreed with our position every time. I wanted everybody to be sympathetic to our position, but I did not feel that they had to agree with it and that, that we needed to be exposed to those differing opinions. In 1980, Beatrice and Barbara Reynolds co-founded Seven, an academic journal designed to promote awareness of the Wade Center's seven authors, and she assisted with several of its early volumes. She taught her last class at Wheaton in 1991, and at her retirement banquet, members of the English department gave her a fourth folio copy of Henry IV, Parts One and Two. This became the first volume in the E. Beatrice Batson Shakespeare Collection at Wheaton. Today, Beatrice continues to serve as the collection's coordinator. She gave so much of herself to Wheaton College and to the English department. In a certain era, she shaped the English department. She gave it so much energy and presence. She encouraged the evangelical world to respect and appreciate art to think of art as having a vital place in the life of a Christian. She was an absolute guiding force and visionary for what literature and the arts in general could be on Wheaton's campus. And inspired, I believe, generations of young people to go on and study literature. Beatrice's contribution to Wheaton is reflected by her presence on the alumni legacy mural in the Beamer Center which honors some of the remarkable men and women who have played significant roles in the college's history. For her tireless devotion as an inspirational professor and her dedication to Christian higher education, the Wheaton College Alumni Association is honored to present Dr. Beatrice Batson with the 2007 Alumna of the Year Award for Distinguished Service to Alma Mater. <laughs>